to another Steel Mace Flow tutorial. Remember, these Steel Mace Flow tutorials may be more advanced than what you're ready for, so if you are looking for a little bit more foundational work, please message me and join me in one of my foundation classes um, or strength and conditioning classes that are held virtually through Zoom. Um, we would love to have you. This flow is going to start in our warrior position, and we're going to start with a 360. Once we finish our 360, our bottom hand's going to catch, thumb to globe. We're going to go into a lateral lunge in a crossbody bottom position. From here, I'm going to pass through a prayer and shoot an arrow over my bent leg. Now I'm going to flick the tail into a top switch. So I flick the tail all the way around and re-grip it in an upside down position. Release the hand closest to the globe. As the tail comes down, I'm going to rotate so that that tail can tuck underneath my armpit and I'm gonna hook my free hand into a Kimura grip. So I've got this under over Kimura grip and I finish in a kneeling position. Now I'm gonna stab myself. So I'm gonna go into the strong back position, shift my hips back and extend my front leg and I'm just gonna bend right over like I've been stabbed. Very dramatic. Now as we come up, the hand that is hooked onto my, uh, my forearm or my wrist my overhand grip is going to then come into a choke hold. So from here, I just let the globe roll into that elbow joint and then I'm just holding in an overhand grip. I'm gonna come up to face the center and then I'm gonna do this horizon swing with my choke grip. So I'm gonna swing the tail all the way around and catch behind me. Then I'm gonna release the globe and let the globe sail all the way around with a belly roll. I'm gonna let the globe swing and then I do this like stirring the pot motion and then I catch the globe. So again, from our choke hold, um, we let, <laughs> we swing the tail around, grab it behind, then we release the globe and we want to stir the pot. Stir the pot and let the globe sail all the way back around. You're going to catch thumb to globe, then we're going to do horizon swing, one-handed horizon swing. So you're going to release the tail horizon swing and you're going to catch in an under overhand grip landmark one facing the side in a front lunge position so from here i'm going to joust that globe forward so i'm going to joust i need to joust upwards because i'm going to take the hand that's closest to the globe and i'm going to end up in a drop in 360. so it's pretty impossible to do this slow motion so I'm just going to show you, I joust aiming high, pivot when it's at its highest point so that I can drop into a single arm 360. So you'll notice that hand closest to the globe is the one that's doing the swinging. It's going for an inside 360. I got to aim high when it's at its highest point. I pivot to the front. So joust, pivot, swing. And we're going to catch pinky to globe into an outside sword swing inside sword swing and then I'm just going to release my hand and step behind into a step four Shaolin zero. From here I'm going to let the globe roll down, go into another horizon swing as I step out, tuck it under this armpit into a Shaolin zero on the other side. From here all I'm going to do is pull up on the globe so that the tail falls and I'm going to catch the tail like that. So I'm going to catch the tail in a sword up position. Again, I pull up on the globe, the tail's going to fall. I want my pinky to the globe so that as the globe comes down, I'm in a sword up position and I just undo my legs so that I'm facing the back. So my legs just untwist. Once I'm in this sword up position, I'm going to grab the tail. I'm going to send the mace upright and I'm going to go into an outside mill in position, kind of position one. I have to choke up a little bit because I'm short and it'll hit the ground. So we're going to go outside mill and then I'm going to let the mace swing behind me and I'm going to catch it with the other hand. So I'm going to let it swing behind me and then I'm going to catch in that sword up position again. Continue the tail all the way around to that inside sword swing. So it's under that armpit. I'm going to pivot. This time as I pull my mace out, I'm going to grab the tail and now I'm going to 
step forward into that uppercut position. So from here, once we've got into our uppercut position, my back hand is going to slide up to the globe and I'm going to flip my grip. So I'm going from an overhand or thumb to globe to pinky to globe. So that's important. So we stand up and we're going to end up in this upside down mace position with my pinky to the globe. And my hand is high. So I'm going to do a halo, but I'm not really moving the mace. I'm just kind of walking underneath that arm and then pulling my elbow down. So from our uppercut, we're going to slide our hands together, flipping that tail hand so it's pinky to globe. My hand is high. I just walk underneath the mace. Once I get to this position, I'm going to drive the elbow towards my hip in a sword up position, grab the tail, and I'm going to come back to the front. And the mace wants to continue that way, so it would be easy to go into another 360. So we're going to do that, but we're going to do a choke swing. So I'm going to take that bottom hand and it's going to cut across the front of my head instead of the back. It's almost like a two-handed mill. It's a little bit awkward if you've never done it before. So think of it, we're still going in the same direction as that 360, but we're going over that one shoulder. Um, once it comes back around, I'm going to flip my top hand because the mace still wants to travel that way. I'm going to let it fall, but I'm going to flip that top hand over as it's falling so that I can go into a dagger swing with a pivot. So it's going to flip and I find my dagger position. I'm going to pivot into it and then as I pull it out, as it swings down, I'm going to grab underhand with my free arm. So I'm in a sword down position and I'm going to continue the momentum of the globe all the way down, catch under, under, over, over, stack it and we're ready to go on the other side. So again from that, um, we'll go from the uppercut, we stack our hands, halo, pull it to upright, we're going to stack our hands again, choke swing, dagger, pivot, underhand, Front sword swing, catch underhand, catch overhand, stack your hands, and you're ready to go on the other side. So, message me with any questions, take me if you try this, and flow on my friends.